Hey everybody, it looks into swirl here. I have this pretty pink cup that I spray painted, sanded it, washed it, spray painted it with Rust-Oleum 2X in a very pale pink, very pretty. I have some gorgeous light pink ultra fine glitter, color shift glitter from Glitter Chimp in Sweet Tart, also very light pink. And we're gonna do the Tacket method as a start to this cup. I have my Alleen's Tack it over and over, mixed 50-50 with water. And I am going to brush on two coats with this little Tack it or um, Mod Podge type brush that I got off of Amazon. I will link to everything below as always. This is a 20 ounce skinny straight from Makerflow. And I'm gonna brush on a nice even layer and let it dry for about 15, 20 minutes. And then I'm gonna come back and do this again with a second layer. And then once that's dry and tacky, I will bring you back and we will do the tacket portion of the video with our beautiful sweet tart pink glitter. So I'm gonna let this layer dry. I'm gonna put on another layer and we'll be back. And we're back. Okay, I have my tumbler. It is um, dry, but tacky. We are now going to do the tacket method with our Sweetheart light pink glitter. Ooh, isn't that beautiful? Look at how pretty that is. All right, so we have our coverage. It's looking good. Two or three fingers and you will start flattening the glitter to the cup by rubbing it. Hopefully you can see this. I will keep going. Okay, so now I have to figure out what I'm gonna do next. I am going to uh, take this out on the deck and spray paint it with a couple layers of Rust-Oleum Matte Clear Spray to seal the glitter on. And I'll bring it back and we will put it on a tumbler turner and I will show you what's gonna happen next. So stay tuned. Okay, so I took my Tacket tumbler out on the deck, sprayed it with a couple layers of matte clear spray. So it's not very sparkly right now, but that'll come back when I put resin on it. I'm gonna mix up about 25 milliliters of resin. I've decided I'm going to switch back to Mr. Nola's Glitters Glass Coat Epoxy because I want more work time and I want more movement. Uh, this is a little different than something we've done before. In fact, I've never done it this way before. So we're all gonna find out at the same time how this goes. I really don't know, it's an experiment. Please keep that in mind. Mix up about 25 milliliters of resin. I'm going to siphon off about 10 of it to go on the cup. Then I'm gonna put about five milliliters each in these three cups and into those, I'm going to mix in these three alcohol inks from Woody's Goodies. These are all very light and diluted colors. We have Lilac Love, Pretty in Pink, and Pink Lady. Mix those in, that will make the resin, which is already medium viscosity sort of resin, it's gonna make it even thinner because alcohol does that to resin. So we will have a relatively runny, liquidy resin in our, in our three cups here. And then I'm gonna use a pipette to drop it on. So this will be alcohol ink dropped on a tumbler, but not in the same way we usually do, which is straight out of the bottle. And I don't know, it may turn out looking exactly the same, as if I just drop the alcohol ink on, it may turn out to be different. And uh, there's a possibility <laughs> that once I get everything together, I wanna see what this does. This is 91% isopropyl alcohol. And I may spritz some of this on and see what happens in that case. So just warning you ahead of time. Oh yeah, into the, oops, into the resin, I'm also going to mix some uh, Marabou Rainbow Alcohol Ink on the, the base coat and it'll, it'll be in all 25 milliliters that we use. So sit back and enjoy the show.
and we're back. All right, let's see what happened. Well, I have to say, I think it's beautiful. Cup is definitely soft. That's the uh, Mr. Noah's glitter. I mean, it's dry, totally dry, but it's it just feels softer than the KS resin. Nothing wrong with that. Just something to be aware of. I really didn't know what to expect. I could have stopped at any point after I put the, the various pink drops on, but I thought trying the alcohol would maybe be interesting. I actually love how this looks. It's just, it's just a little different. Nothing earth shattering about it. It's beautiful and sparkly and very pink. <laughs> and I think it's great. Okay, so now I'm gonna put a decal on it and uh, I will put a final la layer of resin on it and bring you back for the big reveal. So let's do the decal. Alrighty, I have um, some vinyl printed and weeded, or actually cut and weeded. I, I would not advocate this way of doing it because I wasted all the vinyl that was in between, but I wanted to get the placement of the words just right first, and this was, this was the easiest way to do it. Uh, everything from these two lines will be in the correct place before I go and put the picture in the middle, and that is printable vinyl so I can't use transfer tape, so I just, I did it this way to make sure the words are exactly where I need them to be before I plop the picture in the middle. So, peel this off. Make sure I get my two dots for my two eyes. We are going to taco our transfer tape. Plop it on down there. And I really, I don't need to worry about the middle bit. I just need to worry about where the vinyl is. Oop. Press it down. Just make sure you get the vinyl flat. No wrinkles, no bubbles. You know how it works. You know. Okay. Yay. All right. Now for our picture. Here we go. There, look at that. Just a girl who loves pigs. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, so uh, because of the little fiddly curly cues, I am going to put UV resin on my vinyl, not on the vinyl, the printable vinyl. What I've discovered is that UV resin actually soaks into the top layer of the printable vinyl just a little bit and then putting regular resin on does not change the rest of the picture to match the outside that the UV resin so it looks funny is what I'm trying to say so I will put UV resin on my vinyl stick it out in the sun to cure I will then spray seal it with rust-oleum clear matte to seal everything and give the final layer of epoxy resin something to hang on to and then we will come back for the big reveal so stay tuned <laughs> 